Well, I've just finished the uh, jeweling on this side of the bonnet. So this side is now complete. It's had quite a lot of uh, polishing to remove the deeper scratches. So it's been wet flatted and uh, probably three stages of cutting. And now it's just gone through the refining up to the jeweling stage, which is my finishing stage. And as you can see, there's no holograms, marks or anything left. Right, I'm just going to finish the other side and uh, I might show you how I, I do a little bit of it. Hi, I have been asked um, how do I get um, a really crisp finish on the jobs that I do. The finish, oh, I've just finished jeweling that side, if you've seen the previous video. This side is, is to be done now. This is a really good finish, um, as it is. But, with the light on it, the clarity is still, to me, a little bit murky. Now, this is perfectly acceptable finish I could just ceramic over that and it'll look great but I like to get a little bit more out of them um, as you know I spend a lot of time you know with the finishing you know it's a part of the job that I love doing and the stage I'm going to do now is called jeweling now it's jeweling as in jewelry basically I'm going to be using a really soft pad. This has been washed and washed and washed and it's got softer and softer over the period. It's one of my favorite pads that I use for this um, job. I've got a number of them that I buy them new and then wash and wash and wash them so they soften up. And I'm going to use, as always, the Menzerna 3800. Now, I'm just going to do a short section. I'm not going to let you watch because it is time consuming. And basically, what this is doing, I'm using a rotary machine. And in effect, if you imagine that you was polishing metal on a, on a buffer and it gets hot and it gets shiny, we're doing a similar thing, but we're not getting to the point where, you know, we're going to melt the paint or anything, but we're going to make sure that all the paste is diminished while uh, I'm polishing it so that I'm only left with the oil at the end and then I can wipe that off and it should be crisp. So I'm just going to do a short section uh, just to show you because uh, I don't want the videos to go on and on and on. But imagine I've already done that off, so I'm gonna start it with an overlap. Firstly, I'm gonna spread the paste over this section. I've got the speed set at about three and a half on the road today, and now, I'm just going to very, very slowly make sure that the paste does the job. I don't want to be swinging the machine backwards and forwards like a lunatic. We're staying in complete control. If it was getting too hot, I'd be able to feel it here on my hands. And also you can see how fast the oil starts vaporizing. I've 
can see now that that compound is now just turned to oil, so it won't be cooking anymore now. All will be left is the residue. So we've just the weight of the cloth. I mean, it's got to be wiped off with panel wipe as well. But I'm just going to remove the residue. I'm going to get the light and just check. You can see where. Um, if there's any residue that you haven't wiped off and basically it just leaves a lovely crisp finish now this color paint is very very soft and if you push the cloth too hard you leave mar marks from the cloth so it, you know when I'm cleaning it off and panel wiping it off I, I really do mean that I, I do it lightly so there you are, that's Julie. Um, don't see many people doing it these days. It is still done, but I thought I'd just show how we get that extra Christmas out, out of the paint. Right, I'm gonna crack on, do the rest of it, and I'll see you later.